Shoni Sori is a 36-year-old Adivasi school teacher and mother of three young children in the central Indian state of Chhattisgarh. She has been in jail for the last five months. She faces the charge of helping armed Maoist rebels extort money from a corporate mining firm. The Maoists themselves are engaged in an insurgency against state forces across central India. The way Soni Sori has been treated after her arrest has been quite shameful. She was tortured while in custody and after court intervention was treated in a hospital for injuries sustained. And she has now accused a police official of ordering her torture and sexual assault. Even as pressure is mounting on the authorities to order an impartial investigation into the charges leveled by Soni Sori, they did the exact opposite. They presented the same police official with a gallantry award on the occasion of India's Republic Day on 26th of January. In return, Amnesty International is now presenting the authorities with virtual garlands of shame as they continue to foster a culture of impunity. Soni Sori's family has also been a target for arrests and attacks. Her father was shot in the leg by the Maoists. Her husband has been in jail for almost a year and her nephew was arrested in September 2011, also on the charge of having helped the Maoists. Amnesty International considers Soni Sori a prisoner of conscience because she is being held in prison solely for criticizing the human rights violations committed by the security forces, the civil militia Salva Judum and the armed Maoists. India's human rights activists have been appalled by this, saying that this torture and violence against women are totally unacceptable and shameful. Amnesty International joins them in expressing its outrage over the injustice being meted out to Sony Sori. On International Women's Day on March 8th, the garlands should remind India's authorities that they should immediately and unconditionally release Sony Sori and drop all charges against her.